guys this is a beautiful orange cake made by your truly chef priscilla people ask me all the time do you bake of course if you, you don't have a culinary degree without uh you know learning some baking fundamentals all right the only difference is i don't like a lot of sweets i only bake this for clients okay so here we go i'm prepping my baking pan i lined it up with some um parchment paper and then spray it to avoid sticking and then i'm simply dusting some flour very thinly okay to make sure that my cake uh, does not stick so here we go into that pan i added sugar and i'm sieving it too everything has to be very light because you want this cake to be moist and light all right about three quarter cups of sugar and then three eggs so i whisk this here you can beat if you want to in a mixing bowl but i don't have to i'm adding olive oil in the place of eggs all right and some orange juice to uh, reinforce that uh, orange flavor this is my organic uh, vanilla bean. i love the specs and the beauty of this one all right let's add our dry ingredients salt flour and uh, baking powder about a tablespoon of that so then i slightly whisk once I whisk a little bit, then I use spatula. I'm using my spatula at this point to uh, mix till it's combined. Please, you do not want to over mix. Look at the batter, pourable, not very thick. And I'm adding some almonds, all right, slivered almonds. And that's going to go into a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. Bake on a middle rack about 30 to 35 minutes. And there you have it. Allow it to slightly cool before you turn it upside down. So let's make a syrup because I'd have to glaze this with a syrup. There is no frosting of any kind. So I take mandarin orange. I took the peels and I'm adding in there. If I cook it thicker than it is, it's going to become jam. Same measure, all right? So then I'm adding here sugar and a little bit of salt to offset some of that sweetness and I allowed it to boil. All right, so here we go. I'm also segmenting that uh, the remaining of the orange. I'm segmenting them. Can you see? Slightly cool to the touch. You want to remove that. Because of the flour, it changes a little color. This cake is moist as, as it is, but I'm making it very orangey, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Look at the consistency of that syrup. Now, if I cook it more than this, this, add a little bit of mint, and I can get me a beautiful orange marmalade. So there you go. When I tell you, this is super delicious perfect for a black coffee or however you want if you have sweet tooth just make you some whipped cream or whipped coconut cream and go very summery moist and delicious so for those of you who ask do you bake there you have it i bake all right this is so delicious this is going straight to a client right now with mint it brings the whole summer to the limelight people like share tag everyone you know my name is priscilla Yumeda. thank you for watching do you see? This is exactly how it goes down. Look at that delicious moist cake. Look at that. One of them said, please, I need some whipped cream. And I added some whip, whipped cream to it. All right. But here you go. Huh? With a cup of black coffee. That's my Starbucks black coffee right there. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time in Priscilla's Kitchen. I'm not